Well, this holiday gathering here at the Why Not Lot in Station North, different from one you may have experienced with your own family. Tonight, a grieving mother and her message to all Baltimoreans. I want people to get closer to your family. Tomorrow's not promised. Reach out to your family. Reach out to them. Because you never know what may happen to them. Surrounded by a circle of love and support, Renita Mullen mourned the loss of her daughter, Malia Monet, a trans woman who passed Sunday. Well, mine is gone. Thank the Lord it wasn't balanced. So I need to talk to you and ask you for your guidance. Mullen's brothers and sisters gathered at the Why Not Lot on Christmas to remember her. The vigil also shedding light on issues facing some in the trans community. Issues like mental health and well-being and the support that's become difficult for some to access because of the pandemic. Here's Baltimore Safe Haven's peer educator and director of housing, Tamar Jones. It's sickening to me. It hurts that a sister of mine that is gone. It hurts that the pandemic is so much going on with us with, through the pandemic that we can't console each like we want to. We have to keep our six feet, wear our masks. We can't go spend time with our loved ones of COVID, and that's a problem. Nationwide, 2020 has seen at least 41 transgender or gender non-conforming people fatally shot or killed by violent crime. In Baltimore City, the Black and Latinx community has lost five trans women this year. That we all matter and we aren't being heard enough. And it's really getting to me that all of our trans sisters are down here dying in these streets. As for Malia, family members believe she may have taken her own life. This holiday, she's being remembered for the light, joy and openness she brought to those around her. I lost a friend, a sister. She was loved. She was loved. And the LGBTQ community reminding Baltimoreans to reach out to the many resources available. In Station North, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.